Hey, right, what's up everyone? Uh, been driving for like two days, left my buddies, met my wife um, over the weekend for our anniversary, and then got on the road after fishing the white for a couple days, and I've been driving for two days, but I uh, finally made it to Wyoming. So, found this little cool stream, so I'm gonna fish here tonight and camp. All right, so I'm gonna hang out here for the rest of the night. Uh, just do something quick for dinner. Probably a backpacking meal. I lost my uh, water bottle, my filter. So that's kind of a bummer because that means I'm gonna have to carry my uh, platypus three liter until I can get somewhere and buy another one. Or maybe tomorrow I'll you know I'll stumble across it as I'm hiking. But somehow it fell out of my uh, my carrier, which is just kind of stupid. But anyway. So I fished that other area for a little bit, decided to relocate. It's another access on the same stream. This is a pretty amazing campsite. So some camping at night. All right, what's up everyone? Packed up and headed out. Uh, been on the road a little bit and driving around in the uh, National Forest, so a little view. <laughs> Definitely a uh, pretty uh, intense road to get here, so super, uh, super happy to be here. Okay, that's got like two minutes left and I'll probably be eating, um, but I realized before I left I didn't do like a uh, an update video. The plan for this trip basically is to hit Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. I bought licenses for all three. Um, and I told my wife, and she was okay with it, that I'd be back October 31st. Now, I don't know that I'll stay out that much time. It just kind of depends on, I only have so many SD cards and basically how much, so much patience and you know how much time you want to sleep in the back of a truck uh, away from your family. But I'm going to stay out as long as I can. Uh, so I figured I'd do you know three weeks in Wyoming, three weeks in Idaho, three weeks in Montana roughly, and then just kind of kick in some travel time and some add-on and some camping and stuff because nothing ever works out perfect. So I kept five brook trout from today's fishing trip. Onions, bell pepper look like they're pretty good. Onion and uh, potato over here is looking good. So a couple more minutes, I'll throw those on. I think I've shown you guys my new, I need to check out my wife, that's why I'm getting in here. So I can throw my spot down so she knows. I'm gonna go ahead and plan on staying here tonight. And if the fishing is non-existent, then I won't worry about it, but 
so far seen very few streams in Wyoming that don't have fish so I'm expecting to have to find some fish and I'm honestly tired of driving but I don't think I've shown you guys my new system here so but I built this little thing on the side here some storage so I have my clothes in there I have my inverter cool thing about the inverter well I'll show you guys that later I got a light back there I uh, put a milk crate and another one of my trash cans back there and I put all my like you know miscellaneous stuff that I never get into like right now I'm not using big jackets and waders and things like that so I just stuffed a lot of stuff in there to hold it um, but I have my toothpaste and all my toiletries and my inverter and GoPro chargers up here in the front and then underwear socks pants wading shirts jackets like small stuff and a towel in the very back took a shower last night um, I built this little cubby right here to hold things that have handles which this is and other stuff that I won't talk about but because people lose their minds when you do but it's not there right now so but anyway hatchet um i'm gonna bring my back i told you i was gonna put my battery charger up so i was getting into that right now so built this little cubby space right here for when you gotta get up in the middle of the night and mosquitoes have been an issue so something quick um and then i have it this is not new i have it tied in when i go to sleep at night i use this and I put it on that ring right there, the little lock, and I just cinch it down, a little cam lock, and that is what locks me in. And of course, my tailgate has a lock on it. So, anyway, I thought I'd figure I'd walk you guys through real quick. I got my zero degree bag, my 30 degree bag, and I have a liner. So far, like today, it got down probably close to freezing last night, and I needed both the liner and the sleeping bag. Uh, every day between today and when I got here, I've only needed the liner, but it got cold last night. I think that front came through and that, that uh, rain and it just cooled everything off. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna put my wedding stuff on, uh, probably grab a snack. I already made lunch, finished up my coffee. Just kind of hang out here for a second, get my solar panels there. I've been keeping them back here. So I'm gonna get that stuff out. Another thing of water, got my chair. So anyway, let's do that. Been driving for about an hour and the forest service road that I was supposed to be on is supposed to lead me through here but it says it's out bridges out and it's private property I wonder if that's true I got a really cool camping spot so you can see Trying not to put the camera into the lens or to the sun, but beautiful valley. I might drop in there a little bit, go see what I can find. Man, it looks fishy. It just looks so fishy. I just had basically cold leftovers from the last couple days uh, and a can of corn, nothing fancy. Pulled out my Wyoming map, started looking around. Um, I got a pretty good idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Okay, so I was just driving. I looked over there and you can kind of see where that waterfall kind of coming out of the side of the mountain. So I might stop. Don't have, I don't even know what stream that is, man. But that's pretty cool. That's so cool. I could drive right up to it. I saw it from the road and I was like, 
I gotta go check it out. I thought I was gonna have to hike. Let's go look at it. They even built a bridge for me. I knew I was coming with my flip flops. <laughs> How cool is this? Dude, I almost want to stop and fish. Super cool. Okay, so I got to uh, a bridge crossing and there's a bridge out. So they told me I had to cross the creek. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. That's a beautiful fish. All right, guys, hiking into the stream that I want to fish today. Looked like we were going to have some cloud cover today, but it's quickly burning off. So maybe we'll have some partly cloudy conditions. I fish the edge of this on the way up. It's just maybe there's something hanging out. Got my 10 foot four weight, fishing about a 10 foot liter. 4x to my drop, which is a big old stone fly. I'm going as big as I can right now to try to keep off some of the smaller cutthroat. Solid big fish. Okay, so let me show you the dry he just ate. It's a big, I got some goo on the, on the wing, but just a big size six, lots of legs, underbody, double sided or double foamed. Let's go see if we find some more. Well, I guess it must have stormed more than I thought it did last night because the water clarity has just turned to junk. Started, it was pretty clear and it's just, slowly stained. I'm willing to bet by tonight it'll clear back up, but the bite just kind of died as soon as the clarity started changing. I could tell I was like, something's wrong. A couple holes were just look way too good for not to be anything in them. Um, I don't know. Got to be super sensitive to water clarity issues. So anyway, guess uh, it's a good time to have a mid-morning calorie break
you go cut through my dry. Oh man, what a crazy, crazy day. My sunglasses up. Me and a uh, start off on a different creek this morning, someplace I wanted to fish. Uh, caught a really good fish right away. And then some other fish, but about maybe an hour and a half into it, it just got really stained, water was changing. And then not far after that, like it really just turned and it just got just blown out. It was just chocolate. Um, by the time I was hiking out, there was a guy on an ATV driving by. So a guy on a four-wheeler with a fly rod just passed and he was coming from the direction I was going. Um, I later ran into him at the stream I'd been fishing for the last couple days um, and he was like, yeah, dude, he hiked up even further and was like, it was terrible. So we ended up fishing all day, just, you know, kind of hanging out, talking. Um, I'd already fished it for two days, so I wasn't, I told him I'm not really interested in fishing this over and over again. So I'll just hang out. He was like, hey, if you don't mind, just, you know, tag along and just keep him company or whatever. So we did that all day long and then uh, we hiked out together and then I went back to that stream and it was, uh, it cleared up. So I got to another couple hours and then the storm started coming and it's getting windy. So I decided to go ahead and pack up. But uh, there's some big cutthroat of that stream. I had three just awesome, you know, just crushed size six hopper. So I'm gonna put that back on my list to go back to, but I'm kinda, I've spent enough time. I've been like, this is going on day three in this area. And I have some other places I wanna see. Um, it's kinda hard to leave because I know what I'm kinda walking away from. All right, what's up, everyone? We are uh, on a cool stream in Wyoming, fishing with my buddy Timbo. Drove in last night, and met him, so this video will probably have some uh, some video of him hanging out at camp, fishing, and whatnot. So it'll be a fun time. Met him. Uh, this guy I fished with in North Carolina uh, invited me down when I first started making trips there. So uh, he was up, and we decided we'd meet up and fish. So he's starting high. I'm gonna start low. All right, so the rain has found us again tonight. Uh, it's been the ongoing theme for the last two nights. So just uh, glad to have the little canopy hanging out in the truck bed. Not much on a thunder yet. So that's a good thing. Relocated a couple times. Just trying to find a place to fish today. Streams are not looking good in the area right now. All right, good morning, everyone. We uh, got up early this morning and the stream that I was on yesterday, it looked like chocolate milk still today. So I uh, went out and found some service and texted my buddy Timbo. Um, and the area he went was also chocolate milk, but he gave me this stream here. So I wouldn't have a lot of luck with my top shelf hopper, so tied on this little Moorish hopper. Tied that up like, man, I tied that up probably five years ago. It's just been sitting in my box. Not too many cast in. Got the crushed it.
We just cross the stream. Okay, so super fun day. Saw a bear, that's kind of cool. Uh, lots of cutthroat. Um, switched up to a about a size 10 hopper. Uh, I was fishing 4X to my hopper and 5X to the dropper. Changed up a bunch, worms, copper johns, um, predator guns caught a little bit, caddis caught a little bit. Just, they, they just, you know, they were kind of all over the place. But uh, anyway, I found this cool camping spot. All right, what's up everyone? Uh, got up early this morning, made a drive, uh, checked out a couple streams. So, but this was kind of the furthest end uh, away from where I wanted to start. So I went ahead and made the drive. It's like two and a half, three hours um, down a long dirt road, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, and basically I'm right at the edge of where the National Forest starts. So it goes off that direction. Um, there's a bunch of private land that way. Uh, so you gotta go through a bunch of gates and stuff and there's a bunch of signs that tells you to stay on the main road that anything off the road is trespassing. So uh, after, yeah, like I said, about two and a half hours, finally came to this cool camping spot here. Only place that had shade, so I decided to go ahead and pull in. Don't know if I wanna camp here tonight. My plan is, but it just kinda depends on how the stream fishes. Stream is over there. I found this spot on Google Maps. Uh, I was just, you know, looking at satellite imagery and I found a little campfire ring beside a little small creek and I was like, oh, well, how do I get there? Above the beaver pond seems to be a good spot. We got all up here, went around, and it's just like this. Just beaver dam after beaver dam after beaver dam. So, decided I would turn around, hike back. I was on yesterday was absolutely amazing. I almost st thought about staying again and fishing it, but really want to see this. I'm getting close to wanting to transition to Idaho. So but anyway, here's the uh, campground I found. The main road is up there, so I had this huge wall of trees to shield me from any traffic that comes down. Here you can hear an ATV coming right now. The other day I was here and it was just non-stop like 20 or 30 of them like every you know hour and a half two hours and i was closer to the road so it would just get dusted so i'm glad to be off the road and have this this little bit of a screening to i can hear the creek a little bit man i'm happy about the campsite i was worried I was almost about to turn around because when I looked at it, I was like, I'm not camping 10 feet off the road when these cars are going by all day long. I mean, you're just going to get dusted and it's just going to be a mess. All right, so time to descend the hill and hopefully I can get back up.
He is right on the edge of the rocks up there. I just lost one off almost the same spot. All right, good morning. Uh, got up early this morning, started driving. Wanted to get away from that other spot. It was just a little bit busy for me. Found uh, this little two track look like off of a four surface road, so I decided I'd come down. And this is kind of where it led me, so I'm liking it already. Okay, so went ahead and made camp. Got my solar panels out. Guess I'll fish upstream. Water looks pretty good. Looks like it might have rained. Go the other way. Started thundering pretty good. Uh, a little bit of lightning, but it just never never rained anyway. So uh I'm going ahead and walk through my rig real quick. Fishing my seven and a half foot three weight. Um about eight and a half foot a liter. Uh I'm fishing 4X to my top shelf hopper. Uh they have not been big bug shy, so it has kept some of the smaller fish off, so I've switched up to that. Uh, when I needed a, a dropper, which hasn't been a lot, but a few times, fishing about whatever that is, 18 inches. Um, this has been the nymph that I've used most. And all it is, like a size 16, little bead head. I know the GoPro doesn't pick this up real well, but you can see there's a little bit of flash. A little bit of crystal flash. And all it is is hair's ear. It's like light hairs here and then dark hairs there for the uh, thorax and then it's gold ribbed a uh, small wire um, and then a little bit of crystal flash behind things so that's been a good been a good nymph for me something simple okay so woke up this morning excited a little section of stream I found yesterday I was like man looking forward to fishing um, got up looked out the truck camper and first thing I saw so looks like we're going for plan B um, kind of kind of sucks I could wait this out probably this would probably only take a day or two to clear if I wanted kind of have an idea what the fishing would be like it was just gonna be fun um, but it weren't even gonna be giant fish kind of had my my feel yesterday when I was up there and but it was a nice mellow section and it was smooth water and it was gonna be fun sight fishing some some cut fit or some cutthroat um like i did towards the end of the day yesterday but guess that storm that i saw that came through 
uh, it didn't unload here, but it must have just exploded somewhere else because that's blown out. So we're off to plan B. I don't know what that is yet. Okay, so I've been driving for two hours, two and a half hours. Uh, finally got to the spot that I've been trying to get to. Every place. Um, I found the spot last week, but it was blown out. And I was just hoping. And so far, looks like I'm gonna have it to myself. Man. There were several spots on the way in that had people in them. And I was like, oh dude, what's the chances of this prime spot not having somebody on it? But uh, you can drive further down to the creek. But the last time I was here, this was all stained really, really bad. Um, it rained, kind of like what it did this morning in my other spot. And I was like, man, I really, really, really want to camp here because this is just an awesome campsite. But look at that. <laughs> Dude, I can't tell you how excited I am that I've driven two and a half hours and then the spot is open. This was the spot I was coming for. This is all I wanted to see. I know my time in Wyoming is coming, coming to an end. I have probably, it just depends on how long I want to stay here because I'm probably not going to relocate anymore uh, before I go to Idaho. And I was like, if I get to finish my, my trip in the spot that I want, how awesome would that be? So, um, I'm excited, man. I can't believe it worked out. Oh, cool. This is just an amazing camp spot. All right, well, I'm going to get my weighing clothes on, make a lunch, and uh, we're going to do some fishing, too. I can't tell you. Pumped. It's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. I come around the hill. There's a bunch of people camping by me. Okay. I moved. <laughs> um, after like a 20 minute conversation with those guys uh, and going back and forth and them apologizing and saying that they didn't know that I was camping. They thought it was just, a, I was fishing. Um, they offered me a hundred dollars to go someplace else. So I have a hundred dollars and a new camping spot. Okay. So after all that drama, all the whatever, cause that whole, that, all that drama, everything I am, I'm packing up and leaving. This is uh, blown out. All right, so that's gonna wrap up my stop in Wyoming. For now, we're gonna head to Idaho. If you missed any parts, uh, check the description. I'll link all the parts below. This will be another road trip series between Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. Wyoming was fun. Ended up making $100. <laughs> Idaho's next.